Hello guys and welcome back to the Iron Fet channel and today I have a very special video and if you guys can guess it, the ones who have been watching my vlogs, you will be able to guess it and that is we are doing the big wish order video. Now a little while back to explain it, I did a big order uh, from a website called Wish which is pretty much just like an online shopping website and a lot of this stuff I got for super cheap and a lot of it's here like the headset, keyboard, but I'll get into that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys like videos like this, you should give it a big thumbs up, and you new guys here should subscribe for more. I got way more videos like this coming, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so next we have my um, 3200 DPI gaming mouse, and I'm not sure exactly which company makes this, but holy good god, when I got this thing, I was, I was impressed. Let's just leave it at that. I was really, really impressed. When I first got it in my hands, I'm like, damn, this is a pretty big mouse. Like, you know, it's a gaming mouse, right? Of course. It's not adjustable on the back. And for some people, it might be a little big. But for my hands, it fits my hands perfectly. Um, it doesn't have weights in the bottom at all, but uh, it does have these nice little pads. It has the little scanner thing here. It has two buttons on the side. One up beside the left um, left mouse click, and yeah, so it has forward, back, and then it says double click right here, which I do use in Overwatch quite a bit when I'm playing Overwatch. Um, and yeah, it's got th this nice little design here, and it's got this symbol on the back, and the colors do change quite a bit. I'm, I believe when I'm playing games, it will be blue when I'm at good health, and red when I'm at low health. And yeah, it's just really cool. It's got a really nice design, and it's just built really well. It's got this nice fabric, um, fabric cord, which is, which is the same that's on my headset, which I will get into next. But yeah, for I spent, I believe it was nine dollars on this, nine dollars on this mouse, and this is probably, if not the best, one of the best things that I got in the uh, overall wish. Order. and I'm, I'm just really really amazed okay so next I have the Tuom 780 HD gaming headset and I I okay so first off I'm gonna start with the price because for these things you get a nice fabric cord you get a nice these are awfully bright the LEDs here are awfully bright so when I do put it on my head they do stand out quite a bit and shine on my face, which can be a little distracting sometimes. But yeah, the side they have these little dot pattern, which I don't mind. I think it looks okay, like it's not amazing. And it's got this kind of dragon symbol here, which I actually really like. And these things, for, for $9, I kid you not from Wish, I got these for $9 with I think $2 shipping. These are really comfortable. They are really loud, like I can play horror games with this and you haven't checked out my gaming channel, I'll put somewhere on the screen and leave the link in the description. I do use these in all my videos now and they're really comfy, they don't hurt my ears after a while and they're, they're just really nice. On the inside they have a nice uh, PU leather cushion here, then there's this nice fabric on the inside. I'm going to do a full review on all this stuff. But yeah, and it's held in by screws here, which are a little noticeable. But yeah, and that's got that nice texture right up here. It doesn't have bumps or anything like the G2000s, but yeah. And on the mic, which I don't use the mic because I have my Auto-Technica AT2020. But it does say Base HD Gaming Headset, which I, I'm not too big of a fan of. But, you know, it's a little mic. It's not that bad of a mic. But yeah, I'm going to do a full review on this later. But yeah, let's head into the next item. Okay, so first item out of everything that I ordered is my Magic Wings M200 gaming keyboard. It says it's mechanical feeling, which I really do understand why they said that. It is not mechanical, or at least I don't believe. Some websites said it was, some said it wasn't, so it was very confusing. And it does have a mechanical feeling to it. Like, you can hear me uh, pressing on the keys and all that, and obviously it's bringing open and things but yes it it does feel like it's mechanical and I will say first off I paid twenty dollars for this and I'm extremely pleased I use it all the time it does get a little greasy it does get greasy fairly easily but I guess you could say that with any keyboard it is a huge upgrade 
from my last keyboard, which was the MK320 wireless Logitech keyboard, which was kind of stale and it just, I don't know, it just didn't feel like I could game with it whatsoever. So I spent $20 to upgrade, bought this. It's really nicely lit up here and on the sides with this cool pattern on each side and this pattern down here, which is kind of like a dash. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of is where it says gamer in blue down here. I do like this little LED num lock, caps lock, uh, light up here. It does work really well and light up really bright. I think if they did the same lighting that they did here with all the keys, it would look phenomenal. But yes, I am very pleased for my money. It, it works amazingly. I do use the keys up here quite a bit on um, the, the volume button and such and the home button and mail button. Um, like when I'm using Spotify, I can use this and it might be a Windows 10 thing. I'm pretty sure it is a Windows 10 thing, but when I am using Spotify and I turn up the volume, it will bring up my Spotify song beside it and such. And yeah, and this will work for Spotify to change songs and this will bring, I can set this to bring up Spotify, Windows Media Player, anything like that. The packaging that it came in was this, I was actually surprised that it came in this because a lot of my wish stuff, like um, my 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 mouse or my key or um, my headset actually just came in a plastic bag and with a bit of packaging. But this came in a full-on box, the M200. I'm pretty sure that's Chinese. Um, and yeah, it came in this box. Came with some packaging on the inside. This is from my Logitech keyboard. Don't need that anymore. And yeah, it came with this plastic thing. Came with these to keep it in place. And it has all these details down here, like it's USB and other stuff that I don't understand because I don't speak Chinese. Um, and it also comes with this little this little um, instruction manual, which is also in Chinese, so I don't care about that. Let's get into the next item. Next item I got for, I think it was $5. I will double check that. But it was a snapback Pokemon Go hat. For the $5 I got, there were a couple that were kind of, they did look like they were cheaply made, but I picked out this one because it is, it's actually stitched in there and it's really thick and nice. Like, I would expect this to be at like a Spencer's or, or a pretty, uh, a store that has pretty high-end hats for like at least $20 or so. And I wear it all the time. Like, I, I do got to take out this little tag in here, but it's made really well. Like, it does feel, it feels the same as my Marvel hats and stuff that I have bought at actual stores. And got and I got it for like $6 or something like that. Team Instinct, because Team Instinct all the way. Pokemon Go is kind of dying, but... It is a really nice hat. I just wear it all the time because it is black and it just that's just a bonus that it's got. Even for a snapback, $6 for a plain snapback. Uh, I believe you could get them for like $5 and then I'm probably going to get one and get like my channel logo printed on it or something. I think that would be cool or something like that. But yeah, i pleased for 6 bucks. Let's move on. Okay, so next I have little knickknacks that I kind of bought for like $4 or less. Uh, I had these like semi replica. They're not an exact replica, but they're like semi replica versions of the Sons of Anarchy rings. I got those for like four dollars or something like that. I got a Lord of the Rings replica ring, which isn't like carved in there. It's just kind of written on there, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I got a Alice edition, which isn't an official Tamagotchi, but it's a Tamagotchi, and I actually love it. Like as you can hear, it works. And yeah, I've actually had some fun with it. It's kind of different than an actual Tamagotchi. Like you get to choose from like 158 animals on this thing. And I got this for like $4. And I think it's great. I've actually had quite a bit of fun with it. Even my girlfriend uses it. And it's pretty cool. Like the only problem is, is it is fairly... I had this problem when I had an actual Tamagotchi. And you drop it. And then your guy's gone. Or the batteries have fallen out of place. But that's just the design of it really... But yeah, overall, for all of this Wish stuff, be quiet. For all of this Wish stuff, I am very pleased for what I paid. Honestly, I'm going to make a video redoing my setup because I have bought a lot of new stuff. Um, on, in a lot of my videos, you're going to hear I am improving a lot of things for my gaming setup or even my videos in general. Um, and this is a lot of it, like my mouse, my keyboard, my headset, all this stuff. 
and I'm just really pleased. This is, I will tell you right now, I should have done a little disclaimer at the start of the video. This isn't a sponsored video, and I probably will, but yeah, uh, this isn't a sponsored video. I just really enjoyed my order and wanted to do a little bit of a review. So overall, I'd give it a 7.58 out of 10, just because I, I'm not dissatisfied with anything that I bought from this order. So yeah, I do have a, 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 some more stuff coming for my setup and a couple cool things that I do want to do reviews on. And so I probably will do a part two and if I do order more stuff, I may do a part three, it matters. It matters how I feel and what I order. So yeah, if you guys like this series or even like my Amazon unboxing when I got my microphone stand and stuff and you want to keep those going, tell me in the comments, give me a big thumbs up and sub for more. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to have reviews on all the stuff that I bought. Maybe not the rings, but the keyboard, the mouse, and the headset. So yeah, stay tuned you guys and see you guys next time. Stay tuned in the sun.